Hey guys, so today we're gonna do a move bumper install on a 2004 Ram. It should be similar to any, any 2003 to 2005 Ram 2500, 3500, maybe even 1500, 2002. So the first thing we gotta do is get this stock bumper, bumper off. Bumper right here, we just got those two bolts on the right side. And the same two bolts over here on the left side. That should be all to get this bumper off, so we're gonna do that real quick. Make sure you unplug your fog lights as well. Those are gonna wanna attach. We got our frame rails on, ready to go. They sit nicely right on top of the frame there. If you get them right, should be able to get this thing perfectly level. So, now we're ready to put this piece on. We got the first piece on. We had to make sure to be really particular with our welds. So since this piece is up here, it raises it up a little bit. And there's a little bit of play either up or down. And we decided to make it flush on the front and gap it down here. At first we did it the other way around and it didn't give us quite enough clearance for the grill to shut or quite enough clearance once you put the wing pieces on. So I recommend you either keep it flush right here or cut this down right here. Cut this block out just to lower it a little bit. But right now, as is, it works, so as long as we can keep this, we're okay, good. So we got the wings on, you just gotta be really precise about getting this to fit right nice and streamline it as well as match it. I like to go by a 30 foot rule, stand back and see how it looks. The next thing we're gonna look is for the patch right there, which is this guy. And then since this is a full grill, we're gonna do the second wing piece, which actually has the hole in it. So we're gonna be mounting those up. And we'll worry about the, the lights right here, as well as the winch mount later. We're gonna do that once we pull the bumper off. We'll worry about the full grill until okay, then. So we're to the point where, if you just got the classic traditional bumper, you're gonna be on the downhill now. If you got a pre-runner or a full grill, you got a little bit more work to do. Well, we got these ones nicely tacked up right here, and then the second wing pieces as well. They're called something else for the full grill, I don't know, but I don't care. Basically, the bar is gonna be coming out here and mounting up to these wings next. So, we'll show you when we get these all done, but luckily, move was nice and they oblong the holes, so that makes things a lot easier. Middle section, so I just measured it, and it's about 39 and three quarters inches across. It's supposed to be 40, but this model specifically is 39 and three quarters. So the gap between the two bars, the bar going up connecting to the outside and the bar going up connecting to the center is supposed to be two inches. And so if I subtract two inches from this side, two inches from that side, that leaves us 35 inches and three quarters. So I'm actually gonna go up to a table and space them apart and set up the middle piece for a bench here. And we measured 35 and three quarters inches across. We're actually gonna weld them, just tack them real quick to the table, and that's how we're gonna get this in place. And we'll just break the tack and put it on the truck. We went ahead and leveled each side. For us, it was seven eighths. For you, it might be a little different, but on this truck, it was about seven eighths on each side. And then we leveled it. We used the tool to make it perpendicular out coming from here, because this is gonna be flush, plumb with the truck, even though it's on an angle here. We got that measured right along there, and then we're gonna use a bar to match the other two bars right with it so they're all at the same angle. All three bars look nice. We got it tacked up to the bumper with a couple inches on each side. Now all we gotta worry about here is the outside pieces, so we'll get to that. We went ahead and did the precision welds on this part and this part only just to make sure we get that perfect two inches. Over here, we did one tack to get this bar up, and we're about to bend the rod over, about to bend the, the two inch plate over. So I'm gonna pop the hood real quick and we'll get that taken care of. So we're welding from the inside here. And down to here. Yeah. Use clamps to make it easier. Right there. 
Just want to make sure this is parallel and we're going to give it a tack, get it nice and aligned up. Now, the move is recommended that if you want, you can cut off a little bit in there. And so go ahead and do that if you feel comfortable, if you want a little bit more room to work with. I think we're going to tack it as is. There we got both side pieces on pretty much the full grill done. All we got to do is mount these little clevis hooks right here and then we can take the bumper off and start welding. Um, I like to line it up with the dealio in there so I'm going to fit it right about here. I just like to have it right intact with the frame in case I was ever pulling anything. And the same thing on the other side over there. So now that we're all done with the on the truck welds or tacks, now we can start taking this thing off. I think we're going to slide our workbench under it because it does weigh about 190 pounds so we're definitely not going to want to pick it up by hand but however you can cherry picker use a few people do whatever you can to safely get this thing down so, step. so these little trapezoid guys right here they go down below and i just spaced them out a, just a little bit not quite even they as long as it's flat plate kind of center it and then these guys are going to go right here and bolts on right there so the lights hang from up top and it kind of gives you that nice little opening probably going to angle it about there but there's a lot of room for adjustment so it really doesn't matter how you do it of course the other side is going to be the other ones so these guys right here looking like this they're going to come out and kind of box in that light hole it's a spot on the bottom so that's it for the lights so i decided to mount these right about here overhang a little bit get these as flat and flush and plumb as possible with these guys. So that's what we're looking at on both sides. All we got left is the winch mount. So if you opt to go with the winch mount upgrade, basically you just want to center it here with the line, make sure it's even each way, and just tack it up here to there. You should be good to go. It is all ready to go. Everything's all welded up. It's just got to get coated now. When I was welding it together, I decided to use a little bit of reinforcement here. I put a couple pieces on right here, kind of angled it to the side of the bumper to see if I can get in there. Just to give it a little bit more, a little bit more reinforcement right there. But other than that, this thing held up nice. It's got nine gauge steel all the way around and then a quarter inch up front because I got the off-road upgrade. So this is a sweet system. I would definitely recommend it. Move builds good products. I also fabbed up a rear bumper. If you are curious, I got a link in the description for that one. But thanks for watching. Hope this helped out.